When we think of a remarkable customer experience, the waiting area of a tire repair shop probably isn't the first image that comes to mind. Tires, Tires, Tires in Sioux Falls, South Dakota will change that notion for you. It did for romance novelist Amy Dawes. The intersection of her writer's block and an oil change led to a series of novels, a social media sensation, and a fantastic lesson of customer experience. My name is Amy Dawes. I am a romance author. I'm a mom, a wife. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty standard, all, all <laughs> other things considered, but my book world is very unique and different. You came to write a book and now do most of your writing at a tire shop. I do. Like, I, cause this whole tire shop thing had exploded on my social media. You know, a part of like what I do for every day is I talk to my readers about my process and like I bring them into my experience of writing a book. And part of it was that I was sneaking into a tire shop and oh my gosh, they were eating it up. Like my social media had never been so active. And I'm wow. like, geez, everybody needs to write at a tire shop cause people think this is so fun. So um, I tried coffee shops, but I just could never get in the flow. And one day I had to go in for a new set of tires, at Tires, 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 and um, I brought my laptop because I knew they had a great customer comfort center. I was probably there the first day, uh, six hours. <laughs> and like, I think my tires maybe took two. Like they <laughs> offered me a ride home. I'm like, nope, I'm good. Just do you mind if I hang out here? And they were super friendly. Um, so that was kind of the start. And I told my sister and she was like, <clears throat> you should go back, like if it works, take my car in for an oil change. So then I started taking people's cars in for oil changes because they do, you know, car service there too. And like at one point I snuck in, like I'm not proud, okay? But like when you're desperate for words and you've had like a drought for so long, you'll take like whatever works. That's what I like to say. That was kind of the start of my love story with tires, tires, tires. I had no idea. So this was over at our 33rd in Minnesota, and we have a very similar customer comfort center as we have here. One of my salesmen's come in, and then they said, I have something kind of odd going on. I think you might want to know about it. I'm like, okay, tell me this one. And he's, well, we have this gal, and she's been coming in, and she brought in the first three vehicles and said they were hers, but now she's bringing in more vehicles, and I don't think they're hers. <laughs> and then I find out she's writing a book and we just really embraced it. It's been a lot of fun. It's a perfect example of an embracing something that's happening in your business. Why not? It's given us great exposure, uh, yeah. not only to Amy's customers, but the rest of the customers in the United States. We've had more than 20, 30, 40, 50 people say, I wish I had a tires, tires, tires where I live. When, the, when I go to signings, that's like almost always a question I get is, do you still ride at tires, tires, tires? And I'm like, as long as the coffee is still free, uh, yes. Like, <laughs> I like the free coffee and I like the atmosphere and I like the, um, it's very laid back. Some coffee shops are kind of stuffy and they just feel a little bit too, like, to, like, I'm not cool enough to hang out at some coffee shops, I feel like. But here, these are like my people. <laughs> and so my agent was like, you need to write about a romance novelist who sneaks into a tire shop to write. And I was like, <laughs> um, I'll try. I don't know, I'm like, I, I should be writing this part two book, but let me see how it goes. And I, I like to say it like flowed like the complimentary coffee. It was so easy. I wrote it in 13 days. I've never written a book that fast. I've already written two books in the series now. Um, and I'm working on the third, so yeah. It's all kind of romantic comedy because like the whole premise is sort of just um, like waiting room meet cutes because you know, you can find love in unlikely places. Just like you love Tires, 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 exactly, right? Exactly, exactly, yep. Great, well Amy, thanks so much for telling us your story. You're welcome. Well, we love this story because it's a reminder that customer experiences are everywhere. You see, it isn't just customers at Starbucks, Disney, and the Four Seasons who are demanding better experiences. It's also the people who need to get a flat tire repaired. It would have been so easy for Gary and the team at Tires, Tires, Tires to put up a sign that said, coffee is for customers only. But think of what they would have missed out on. Hopefully this gets you to think about your business and your customers and think, what are you really selling? tires or an experience. At 5.4, we love to design customer experiences like this one because we believe that all customers deserve remarkable experiences, even those at the tire shop.